Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. Friends, today I'm very much happy because India has won the T20 World Cup and on this occasion, but it's about I think uh, 12, 10 a.m. 12, 10 a.m. and I'm making this video and this video we will have the discussion. This video will have the discussion of the important questions from the famous poem Caged Bird by Maya Angelou and this is for the fourth semester BCA BSc students of Bangalore City University, generic English. So to begin with, the very first question here, how does the lion can seldom see through his bars? Portray the experience of the marginalized community of the United States. Caged Bird was published in Maya Angelou's 1983 poetry collection, Why Don't You Sing? It is believed that Maya Angelou's back background as an African-American influenced the content of the poem. Caged Bird tells about the restricted movement that comes alive within the context of the horrid African-American community experience in the United States of America and the enslavement of many Americans for over 300 years because of the color of the skin, the enactment and the in, and the in uh, and the institutionalized official and the unofficial politics that allows some races more than others, just as the Jim Crow law that oppresses the blacks and ensures that ensures that they never get to the position of equal citizen, citizenship with the whites and such kind of deliberate abuse of their fundamental human rights among many others. So that is the background of this poem here. And what does the poet say here? It is in this atmosphere, Maya Angelou writes to portray the stark reality of life in the USA where racism is, is sustained and is already authorized or we can say institutionalized. Then the poem describes the opposing experiences between the two birds. One bird is able to live in nature as it pleases as it likes, while different caged birds suffer in captivity. The caged bird sings both to cope with its circumstances and to express its own longing for freedom. Using the extended metaphor of, those, of these two birds, the poet points a critical portrait of the operation in which she illuminates the privilege and the entitlement of the unoppressed and conveys the, conveys the simultaneous experience of the suffering and emotional resilience. In particular, the poem's extended metaphor can be seen as portraying the experience of being a black person in America. Question number two, why does the caged bird shout a fearful trill? Fearful trill here refers to the song of the caged bird. Trill means a querying or a vibratory sound, especially a rapid alteration of sung or played notes. It was fearful because of all the uncertainty of his life, whether he would be free someday, whether the caged bird will get the unknown things that he longs for like a smooth and free ride on the back of the winds that the free bird enjoys. It's fearful because the caged bird sings out of hope that one day in his lifetime he would be free, but he's not sure if that would really happen. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill because it is apprehensive of what dangers its song may lead into. It has lost confidence after being confined and it does not feel free to sing. It is afraid of the atrocities it may be subjected to. So that's the reason that the caged bird shouts a fearful trill. Now we have the third question, the last question. And I would say here, this question covers many other important questions. Comment on the subtle um, notion of freedom. Or I can, I, I can also say here, the theme of the poem, the summary of the poem. So I try to bring here one capsule answer for this question. 
The poem Caged Bird by Maya Angelou is a wonderful, powerful poem that metaphorically contrasts the life of a free bird and the life of a caged bird to discuss the themes of freedom, restriction, and the yearning for liberation. In the opening of The Caged Bird, Maya Angelou vividly contrasts the lives of two birds. One bird is free and the other bird is captive, caged one. The free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream, reveling in its freedom. On the other hand, the caged bird is trapped in its cage. Its feet are tied, tied. its wings are clipped. Midway through the poem, the focus shifts more deeply to the plight of the caged bird who sings of freedom. The verses, the lines describe how, despite its physical confinement, the caged bird uses its voice as a powerful tool for the expression, for expression and for resistance. This part of the poem highlights resilience, resilience and the indomitable spirit of those who are really, really very much oppressed or exploited. So the poem concludes by reiterating that uh, by repeating or emphasizing that the stark difference between the two birds experiences the free bird continues to enjoy all the privileges of freedom unaware and unbothered by the struggles of the caged bird whose song of freedom acts as both a hope and a stark reminder of the injustices it faces so these final lines, these final verses reinforce the longing for liberation and the painful reality of inequality. So that is a theme, that's a summary, that's a brief note about this poem, Caged Bird, which speaks about restriction, which speaks about the freedom. So friends, this is how, uh, okay, uh, we have, I have also collected one important question which can help you uh, comment on the poetic devices. So which are the poetic devices the poem has applied here? You can pause the video, you can go through here. The metaphor, alliteration, personification, simile, reputation, imagery, symbolism, contrast, anaphora, and hyperbole. So these are the poetic devices have been applied here to make the poem more effective by the famous poet Maya Angelou. So friends, this is how I have tried to uh, solve the questions of the famous poem Caged Bird for the fourth semester BSc BC Generic English under Bangalore City University. Friends, I have done the questions for all the chapters of fourth semester BSc BCA, even uh, the chapters like um, the novella like Siddharth and the TED Talks, letter writing, email writing, everything. You just check the playlist or you just check the description box you'll get all the videos links if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe click on the like button write in the comment box share this video to your friends your classmate if you have any questions any queries feel free to reach me at mukesh english at the rate of gmail.com thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned with mukesh english